Hi, hello. Today I thought I'd put together a video about my uni fashion basics because I go to uni, I like fashion and there are certain bits I reach for more. So I thought I'd just throw together a video including all of those outfits. Uh, you've probably seen a lot of these outfits in my outfit of the week videos because they are typically what I wear in the week but I thought it'd just be nice to have them all in one place in case anyone wants to just see a load of uni outfits. So yeah. Here we go. So we'll start with my casual slash chill outfits. So the first outfit is based around my mum jeans, which I basically wear to death. I've had them for years and years and I basically style them with everything. But for this video, I've chosen this gray tail snake, it's short sleeve, and I just think it looks really vintage, really 90s. And it reminds me of something that they might wear in Friends. So I'm really down with that, I really like that style. And yeah, that's just one of the many ways that I wear these jeans. So the next outfit is based around this bold red jumper, which I haven't had for too long, but it's quickly becoming one of my favorites. It's just so comfy, so bold. And when I put it with these brand new Marvel trousers, it has that vintage look that I like, but it's still comfy and warm. And it just, it does the job as a basic uni outfit. The next outfit is based around my black skinny jeans. I just think it's not essential, but it's just a very good idea to have a good pair of black jeans. And these ones are just the comfiest thing I own. They basically feel like leggings when I wear them because they do just stick to you. And they're not like uncomfortable around the waist. I can basically wear them as leggings, but they are made of proper jean material. So they're comfy yet thick. So I like it. So the next item is just this simple sweatshirt. This one is actually a men's one because it was my brother's but he didn't want it anymore. So I gave it home. But I really like wearing this with a pair of blue skinny jeans because it is a very baggy top. But sometimes I do like wearing it in my mum jeans but normally then I would tuck it in. But when I wear it skinny jeans, I like to leave it out and just let it hang loose. The thing I like about this as a men's jumper, it doesn't cuff in at the bottom. And as I've said many, many times, I don't like it when jumpers cuff in. It doesn't look flattering on me, but this one doesn't, so I like it. The next outfit is based around probably my most worn item in my wardrobe. And they're just these brand new Melville trousers. I've pretty much worn these to death already, and I only got them earlier this year. So I might get another pair because they have got some threads coming undone now which is just usual wear and tear but i usually like to wear these with a black top of some sort sometimes i go for a tight fitting top other times i go for a bigger baggy jumper they just go over everything i love them and i should yeah probably invest in another pair so the next outfit is based around this vintage adidas t-shirt and i think it could be a football top don't get me wrong, but I think it could be. And I basically just like wearing it with my red trousers. I think the whole look is very vintage, very 90s. As I said, I like that look. It is also just very comfortable, but I do have to wear a jacket with it at the moment because whilst it is comfortable, it's not the warmest outfit. So I usually throw on this pink fluffy jacket because it's one of my warmest and I like it. So next up, I've just got my big oversized jumper dress, which I've included purely on the basis. It's the comfiest thing I've owned. It's basically a massive black jumper with fleece lining. So yeah, it's comfy, but I usually have to wear it with some sort of flannel top because otherwise I think it looks a little bit slobby. But yeah, with a flannel shirt of some sort, it looks perfect. Well, not perfectly dressed up, but a little bit more dressed up, a little bit more put together. Yeah. I like it, it's comfy. And then I thought I would just include my big bomber jacket. It's not really a bomber jacket, but it's the closest thing I can think of to describe it. But it's basically my biggest, warmest jacket. I found it in a charity shop. So it was very inexpensive, but it's really good quality because I think it was originally at John Lewis. Um, but yeah, I normally like to wear quite a dainty outfit underneath this because it is a massive men's coat. So it's just that thing again of contrasting big baggy things with more sort of tight and feminine things. Moving on to my more put together outfits. They are supposed to be more fancy, but they're still pretty much comfy outfits, just slightly more effort put into them. So this outfit is based around my red trousers, which you've already seen. But yeah, they're a new addition to my wardrobe, but they're already getting worn a lot. 
for this outfit I just put it with my beautiful mind jumper from Pull and Bear. I really really like this outfit together because there's a little rose accent on the beautiful mind embroidery bit and it just complements the colour of the trousers. I like it. I think it works together. Outfit. The next outfit is based around another pair of trousers but this time it's my green pair from Next. I sort of forgot about these for a while, they have been pushed to the back of my wardrobe but last year to uni I did wear them quite a bit. So for this outfit I've just decided to put them with a striped top and then add a black jumper over the top for colder weather because I'm just very conscious of the fact it is now colder in England so I can't just go round wearing one layer. I normally need at least two. The next item is also a new piece to my wardrobe and it's just this striped jumper which is actually quite a thin material so I usually wear it with a turtleneck underneath just to get get my layering in there, get my warmth in there um, and I also just prefer the look of it. So I also paired this with a pinafore dress for this outfit. I'm loving it. I don't normally wear this pinafore dress. I don't actually think I've worn it since I was in school. So that's how long it's been. But I've dug it back out. I'm really enjoying it. Enjoying it? I'm not sure that's the right word for fashion, but I'm really liking wearing it. So leading on from the pinafore dress, I decided to also style my dungaree dress, which has also been pushed to the back of my wardrobe a little bit, but I did used to wear it a lot more to uni. So I decided for this outfit just to put it with one of my more simple pattern jumpers, which is just this red one from Topshop. Um, overall, really simple outfit, but it looks like a lot more work has gone into it. Keeping with the sort of dungaree theme, I decided to also dig back out my full length dungarees, which I've decided to start with this tie side jumper from Topshop. Again, it's a very simple outfit, but because of all the sort of tie sides and dungaree bits, it just looks like a lot more effort has been put into it. So the next item is definitely not a uni essential, but I do wear it a lot, it's just it doesn't go with absolutely everything. So I don't think it can be considered an essential, but I do love it. And it's just my bright orange fluffy coat. I usually style this with something simple because I feel like if you styled it with something patterned or overly patterned, it would just be it'd be too much. So yeah, I normally wear it with a white v-neck top and some jeans or some culottes, but yeah, I just like to keep it very simple with this coat. So the last piece for my more put together looks is just this little velvet dress, which I was considering putting in my more night out outfits, but I don't really wear it on night outs. I'm too worried of it getting wrecked. So yeah, I put it in my more put together outfits and I usually like to dress it down with some sort of big shirt. But for this outfit, I chose to wear it with a turtleneck because I think that just looks a little bit cuter. And I'm all about that cute life. And then finally, moving on to my night out outfits. The first item I've chosen is just my black bardo top. The last time I wore this, I decided to put it with some mum jeans, which is what I've decided to show you it with today. But I do also like wearing it with some culottes. I basically just like wearing all dark things when I go out because I'm worried about either spilling drinks on myself or other people spilling drinks on me. But yeah, I think this still looks really nice and it does give me sort of Sandy from Greece vibes. So talking about culottes, my next outfit is based around a pair of culottes. So for this outfit, I've just decided to pair it with a plain black bodysuit because I like the simple look, scared of spilling drinks on myself don't really need more explanation. So the next outfit includes another bodysuit, but this one's my red bodysuit, which has the cutout back. I don't tend to wear this out a lot because I am scared of getting things spilt on it and ruining it, but I have risked it a couple of times and really enjoyed what it's looked like. I haven't worn it out much recently because it is just a little bit too cold, but this is definitely a staple piece for going out in summer. So the next outfit is based around this velvet skirt. Um, I don't tend to reach for skirts when I'm picking going out outfits just because, I don't know, get cold, don't really like wearing skirts in general. But when I do decide to go for a skirt, I normally pick this one out and just keep the outfit simple. I don't like to over girly it or anything. I just like to dress it down, keep it nice and simple. 
And then the final outfit is based around this pink sparkly top, which is very different for me, but I really do like wearing it. And it's also just something different from everyone else really. Like you see a lot of people wearing the mesh sort of sparkly tops. I have one myself, but you don't really see many people going for the full on glitter. So that's why I like this top so much. I do like to stand out a little bit. Um, but yeah, I like it. I feel like I'm not making any sense anymore. I think it's a little bit too late. It's definitely too late. So yeah. So that's everything for my uni basics. I know not all of these can really be considered basic or essential, especially like the orange fluffy coat, but they're things that I genuinely reach for a lot. So I hope it helped somehow. I'm gonna go to bed, but I really hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you soon. Great video, great video, top notch, love it.